Alright, so sorry about that last video ending so unexpectedly. I was um, not watching the timer. Since I still haven't gotten the full version of anything, it's limited to 10 minutes. So, the obstacle brush. There are a ton of different brushes here that you can use. One by one style, tall. Er these are erasers down here and fuzzy erasers. And then this is um, fuzzy brush and regular brush. So let's just brush them on like this. Then um, obstacle that. And then you can just do this. Ah, uh, that's not how it works. So. Um, there, that will erase that. And there. Um. Alright, let me explain this better now. So, the brush, you, everything here is just used to brush stuff on. So, for example, here I'll create this little forest. This is the one by one solid brush. If you put something here, all an obstacle where it will appear where you brushed. So let's just surround the town like that. Next, um, these are just increasing sizes, and this is the drag. Now this would be the eraser. I'll use the solid eraser, which will just solidly erase this before I place the obstacles. Next, the fuzzy brushes. This will be this is a one by one, darker in the center where there will be an obstacle for sure. Everything else around it is just a chance of being an obstacle, but not for sure. Here you can see we got all the obstacles except for two. Next the next the fuzzy eraser. I could put right here, right here, and do that. And now these going from dark become light, and now it's only a chance of them remaining. In this case, they don't remain. Now I'll use the actual eraser to erase them now that they've been placed. So you could do this, and um, with the fuzzy eraser, just use a smaller one. This should work so that, there, some of the surrounding squares are full and some are empty. Now I'm just going to undo that and get rid of it all. So that's basically how to use the obstacles. Now I'll um, go into some objects placed on the ground here. And just scrolling down to the bottom of the list in the swamp, you can find all of the mines. So I'll give one mine of each type to this island. And I need to throw in a boatyard. That appears on the all-terrain objects, along with creature generators and most other things you can find here. Right. My cursor's flickering, this is going to make it a little difficult. Okay, next I'm um, just throwing the gem ponder right there so it actually looks kind of kind of nice as though we're actually there. And... Or wood sulfur. And so these items here are just completely drag in, drop them down. The red, I have both of these turned on up here near the top. Grid. This turns on a grid, which shows, uh, well, the grid, and then this shows um, obstacles. Red means nothing can go there. Yellow means you can go, but there, but something is going to happen. For example, walking into the front of the castle, a gem pond. You can't ex you can't walk over a yellow square without stopping on it. Monsters are also yellow squares, so are artifacts, resources, anything like that. Anything that is passable that you can go to, but you must stop there. Right, um... Okay, I have all my resources now. So... Then you can put in these. These are just river deltas, so basically the idea is you would put it in just like this, and it looks like the river is going out into the ocean. That's pretty simple. The rest of these objects here are mostly, um, there's obelisks at the bottom, then different things you can put in, basically. There's signs, wizard well, some of the little fountains and crypts, um, then up in the rest of this is mostly obstacles, which will be randomly placed by the obstacle 
brush here and and it will only this will only place obstacles that you could also find in the um, slot here for the terrain itself then each terrain usually contains vastly different obstacles and several different things here you can see we have a pyramid for the desert um, moving along here to the all-terrain obstacles this is obstacles that generally go on all terrain. Here these obstacles of course you can actually place on any terrain that you please. For example I'll go and put a mountain in the middle of a swamp. Yay. Now all, all terrain obstacles are each obstacle from each specific drawer so to speak is meant to go on its own train but doesn't have to go as I've just demonstrated. Now this contains all the monster spawners for every single castle here but it gets funny as you go down here. As you can see the elementals isn't exactly straightforward. This is because before they added elementals and in sort of Armageddon I believe, they you could still get the four basic elementals from an elemental conflux, this thing. Um, then there are elemental conflicts for each other place. They really don't have much difference from the shrines which appear in the actual conflicts down here. Um, which, oddly enough, appear down after the actual conflicts. Next there's Enchanter's Hollow which produces enchanters and Treetop Shower which gives you sharpshooters. Then the Unicorn Glade is down here for some reason. I don't exactly know why, I've never figured that out, but it also appears up at the top in the um, Ramparts creature dwellings. Then you have the three, four, isn't it? No, three, I'm being slow today, sorry. Four ultimate epic whatnot dragon stuff. Um, this, yeah, it gets confusing down with conflicts here, but this, the sulfurous layer, is, um, that's rust dragons. You can right click to show the information, I think. Then going down, we have azure crystal, I want to say. Failed to launch help, okay. Okay, just close that now. And fairy dragon dwellings. Next, from this little thatched hut, you get the halflings, which are very weak but can throw stones and come in large numbers. Then, from the hovels, you get the weakest creature in the game peasants, which are kind of just a joke. They have one attack skill, one defense skill, one health, and three speed. The only advantage is that they come in gigantic numbers. I believe you get, um, 30 to 50 a week from the dwelling. Then there is the mummies, the nomads, the rogues, and the trolls, and um, there, Borden, Borglan, that gives you the boars. Next going down further you have the, the refugee camp, which can get you basically any monster, or machine factory, and all the usuals. Then of course there's the dragon utopia, which is fun. Then the subterranean gate, how that usually works is you can put one here and I'll go to my second layer and take the brush and I'm going to put down some subterranean. So that did really not work. Um, there. Now Going back up to the top layer, you can see here that this is located at 5934. However, it will also work if. So then I will um, take the subterranean gate here. I do not have to put its entrance at precisely 5934. As long as it's nearby, it will still work.